Hey guys, what's going on? Fred London here. You guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Today we're talking about a real good story, so make sure you stick around and watch the whole thing. So, Chelsea have made direct contact to sign Timo Werner ahead of Liverpool. Now that is something interesting, because obviously we heard talks of us trying to get for um, Timo Werner early on, but then it was just talks that Liverpool were going to go for him, and that was basically where it stopped it was sort of like well Liverpool are going for him and apparently he was quite eager for that the, I think uh, the club was quite eager for that as well so it was sort of okay well we'll give up and we'll look elsewhere whereas I think we're the only club that has actually made direct contact with um, RB Leipzig over the transfer for um, Timo Werner as you can see here, Chelsea have made direct contact with Timo Werner's camp to discuss a deal for the Leipzig striker, according to reports in Germany. So, you know, we know that it says in here, Liverpool have been heavily linked with the move, while reports this week claim that Jurgen Klopp is keen to meet with a striker. Um, that's not surprising, because Timo Werner is very good. So it wouldn't surprise me that um, Klopp wants to meet him, see if he'd be a good fit for the team. Um, we were after him in January, but never actually managed to get any sort of solidity he wasn't going to get sold in January was basically um, what we were being told. Whether Lampard is expected to try again this summer and Chelsea reportedly made an initial offer for Werner. So if we can offer, um, as you can see there's a 52 million release clause in his contract, so if we can offer the 52 million, you know, the club just says yes, they have to, then it's on Timo Werner to decide and if we can offer him a good deal to come to Stamford Bridge over, you know, Liverpool, wherever, wherever else is probably offering him a contract, because I'm sure there's going to be a few different places. Um, if we can meet that, then, I mean, we're always in with a chance, and if we're currently in talks with his, like, agent and stuff, then that makes me think that, like, well, it's, it's not as, you know, oh well, Liverpool have got him. It's not, you know, as, as linear as we think it is, because he can make that choice and if they're willing to discuss then there's definitely room for a deal there. Then obviously we can take a look at his transfer value. His value is about 57 million but there's about it's been rumored 50 to 52 million somewhere about there is his release clause for this contract so you know if that gets met the club has to accept and then it's on to Timo Werner to decide what he's going to do with his future and that's quite exciting So if we take a look at his who scored page he's only 24 years old in the Bundesliga this season 24 appearances one as a sub with 21 goals, 7 assists, a 7.58 average rating with 8 man of the matches. That's insane. Champions League 7 um, appearances, 1 as a substitute, 4 goals, 2 assists with a 7.13 um, rating. Obviously that's insane. Plays mostly at striker, can play on the left and a little bit at attacking midfield he's played this season. Um, but I think most people consider him a striker or a left sided um, sort of winger. But yeah, this guy's insane. Like, look at him starting at a striker, 7.7 rate. Like, that's so good. His characteristics, very strong at finishing, which is beautiful to see. Strong at holding on to the ball, passing, and key passes. Very good. Weaknesses are offside awareness, something that did get annoying with Morata, but hopefully not to the same extent. Um, aerial duels, definitely something he can work on. Crossing, depends if he's playing out wide, really doesn't it? Because if he's in the middle, he doesn't need to cross as much. And defensive contribution is quite weak. He likes to play counter attack him. He likes to cut inside, play short passes, likes to dribble, and does not dive into tackles. And then at the bottom here, you can see his recent games. And yeah, this guy's solid. Obviously, I think I think there's not many, if any at all, Chelsea fans that don't want Timo Werner for about 50 million. That would be a great deal for us. And of course, you've got him for years, and he's going to hit his prime like 26 to 28, 29. In between those years, he's going to be a goal-scoring machine. And he already is, so... This guy's got a very high ceiling for potential. I definitely want it. The obviously the you know the talks are that Chelsea have made direct contact with his camp. So this doesn't necessarily mean that you know oh there we go we've signed him. But what it does mean is we've there's room to maneuver because if he was only interested in Liverpool, then they wouldn't talk to us. They'd say yeah look, we're not interested. You do you. We're not going to bother like replying to your emails and phone calls and all that. So. There's room to manoeuvre with it. If we can offer him maybe a better wage, obviously we'd be guaranteeing him first-team football would be my guess because he's better than Tammy in terms of goal scoring. 
but you'd hope that this would lift Tammy up to perform even better and then they can compete for that first team slot which is what you love to see competition breeds improvement so it's what we, we want to see at Chelsea I am you know if I'm on a scale of 1 to 10 on whether this is going to happen I probably was like a, a 2 maybe like I didn't think there was much chance at all because he was just apparently was after Liverpool after hearing this I'd say I'm closer towards maybe like a 5 so you know it's not like it's not breaking news Chelsea have signed Timo Werner it's just it's a good nudge in the right direction and if Chelsea obviously are serious about signing him and they can offer him a good deal I think we could end up getting the guy and that would be awesome because this guy is a beast but that is going to be the end of the video guys if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like subscribe all that good stuff i'll catch you in the next one goodbye